Okay, so I recently had a conversation with my friend, uh, probably about an hour, maybe an hour and a half ago, and it was one of those conversations where I haven't talked to him in a while, so I messaged him and asked him, you know, hey, where you been? Haven't talked to you in a while, haven't seen you online, you know, and um, he said that he worked a late night, he didn't get off until like 7 o'clock this morning, so he was going to bed. And I was like, okay. I was like, well, I'll talk to you later then. And he's like, well, let me ask you a question before I go. And I said, okay. He's like, um, if you die tonight, are you saved? Will you go to heaven? I'm not going to lie. I said, probably not. And he's like, does that concern you? I said, not really, I'm I'm not really a religious person. Well, what does religion have to do with it? It's well, you're, it's where you're going to spend eternity, heaven or hell. So, I think, well, for all the things I've done, I'm probably going to go to hell. Um, and he wants to know, well, if I was fine with that. You know, you don't mind spending all of eternity in a lake of fire? I'm not going to spend my time on earth wondering where I'm going to spend eternity. I'm going to live my life and be happy. So then he's like, so you could care less about a better life after death. And again, I'm going to live my life. I'm going to be happy. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm not here to bash anyone's religion. I'm not. If you love God, fine. But I hate people who... Well, no, I really don't hate people. I dislike the people who are non-religious once, and then they find God, and then all of a sudden they just, they have to tell you about it. And I don't care, you tell me about it, sure, we'll have a, we'll have a debate about, about religion, about your religion, my religion, it doesn't matter. But don't sit here and try to push it on me. Because I don't follow your path of righteousness. Um, and that's what annoys me. So he, you know, he's saying, well, we have two choices. We can either go to heaven or hell. And you seem to want hell. No, it's not that I don't want hell. It's not that I want hell. It's just I think for everything that I've done, I'm going to go to hell. And I'm not going to sit here and be like, well, I regret that I did this. I regret that I did that. Because I don't regret anything I've done in my life. I don't. Everything happens for a reason. And so I keep telling, I'm like, go to bed. You know, you're starting to annoy me. You know, I, I hate, I hate when people do that. And um, he's like, I don't care if I'm annoying you. It's important. We're all going to die. It's a fact. So I want to know, um, why does it concern him what I do? Why can't he just worry about himself? And he says, That's being selfish. That's not who I am or how I am. That's not what I am to do either. So I keep telling him, I'm like, you know, just go to bed. You know, whatever. I don't want to deal with this. And he's like, I'm sorry that a concern for you pushes you away. But I am concerned for the lost. I'm not lost. Please don't tell me just because I, I don't follow God's word every day of my life that I am lost. Okay? Um, he's like, in the scripture it tells us to reach out to them and you're lost. You've fallen from the path of heaven and eternal life. Okay, well, could have started out as just a simple conversation, you know, hey, how you been? How's work? You know, how's the family? It turns into this big conversation that, you know, if I'm not concerned for myself, then who will be? And then he goes on to tell me that he'll pray for me. That's the worst thing you can tell someone who really doesn't want... Don't pray for them. You know? Don't pray for someone who doesn't ask for it, or if someone's in dire need of it. Just because I don't follow the way he feels, I have to be prayed for? That's... Just, that's that's just, it's asinine. It is. It's, it's annoying. And I know he's just trying to be, he's being thoughtful. Yeah, I'll pray for you. I hope God touches your heart. And, you know, 
that it's just oh and he goes on telling me that he was revealed in his sins and the worldly things around him um i told him i go it, it good for you doesn't mean you have to tell everyone that they're lost uh tell everyone who doesn't follow your path of righteousness that we're lost and he goes on to say but they are it says so from the lord in the bible those who do not believe are lost, and those who do not obey the word of God are lost. And I said, well, you're pushing it on us. Well, he wrote the Bible through men. He told us to preach the word of God to everyone. So he did not write. I was like, so? He didn't write it. Other people did. And he goes on to say, be the fisher of men. He used others. As a writer, uses a pen. And he says... Um, it's sad that they won't open their minds and their hearts. Why have you closed your mind so much? My mind is not closed. I just don't want people pushing their religion on me. That's like a, a, a smoker who quits and then sees another smoker and be like, no, you know smoking's bad for you. It's an oxymoron. You used to do it. Don't push it on other people. Okay? He used to be I'm going to use the God term, sinful, and now all of a sudden he's not. Just because I, I am not full-blown Christian and whatever, don't push it on me that I'm lost and, and I'm closed-minded and you know whatever. Yes, when I was younger, I used to go to church, but God, all religion has flaws. Okay, that's why I don't believe in one specific one. I believe that the, in certain aspects of each religion, okay? So he tells me, I'll pray for you. I hope God touches your heart, and I'm sorry you feel this way. You're lost. And I told him, I'm not lost. I know where I'm at, and I know where I'm going. He's like, you're lost to the Lord. It's the truth. And if you don't want to believe it, go stand on the highway and say you don't believe in trucks. And then I said, well, who said that I didn't believe? Was there anything in this conversation that said I didn't believe? I didn't say I didn't believe in God. I didn't say that I, I didn't believe in, in some of what he says. I never said anything like that. But he automatically wants to judge me, telling me that I'm lost because I, I don't do the Christian-y thing every day. And then he goes on, you know, if, if you hate, you commit murder in your heart. And he told me that I'm that I'm falling from the path of heaven and eternal life and it just it, it annoys me that it's end up to this is that people have to push religion on other people and it just it annoys me so I thought I would write I would video blog this um, because it's a whole lot easier to just talk, even though I probably don't make sense. But I feel better now. And please leave comments and stuff and tell me what you think about this, about other people pushing religion on other people. So I look forward to your comments and stuff like that. Later.